What's up guys? Good morning. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, cutting meals. We're going to do three of them. So we're going to start with breakfast right now, which is going to be a French toast. It's pretty low calorie, has high protein, and it tastes really good. So we've got our sweetener out, got egg whites, cinnamon, vanilla, and most importantly bread. And that's really all we need for this recipe. So let's get into cooking it. All right, to start with the French toast, first we're gonna measure out one cup of egg whites, all right? I like to use this glass measuring cup meant for liquids, it just, it's really helpful. Um, yeah. Okay, so we got about a cup, maybe a little more. So we got a cup of egg whites, we're gonna pour this into our container. There we go, set that aside. Now what I like to do is add our sweetener, artificial sweetener. This is a sugar and stevia blend. Um, so it has like 10 calories per serving. So I'm gonna do one serving of that. It gives it enough sweetness and then we'll use sugar-free maple syrup and it'll be plenty sweet after that. So that's what I got, half a teaspoon of this sweetener. Um, then we go in vanilla extract, okay? So whatever kind you guys have. And I do a full teaspoon, so about a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And then we also do a teaspoon of just ground cinnamon. All right, teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, so we got all of our ingredients into the container now. So now it's time to whisk it up. I mean, this is the only clean whisk I had, so let's get to whisking. All right, now that that's pretty well mixed up, um, we're gonna get our bread. I like to put it on a separate plate. I like to put it on a separate plate because uh, I don't wanna get egg whites on my entire loaf of bread. Cause I'm gonna be, I just get out my four pieces of bread. And I just set them on the plate and then I just, I'll dump them and put them on my pan. So we've got our egg white mixture. We've got our four pieces of bread. You can do more bread or less. I mean, whatever you guys um, want to fit your calories and macros. Um, so, but if you're gonna do more than four pieces of bread or if your bread is like a lot bigger, maybe, I don't know, homemade bread or something, um, you're probably gonna want more egg whites because I end up using all of these egg whites and most of it soaks into the bread and then I'll pour it over, the, I'll pour the rest over and you'll see that in a minute. So the next thing you're gonna need is a pan. I have this griddle pan. I actually got this for Christmas. My parents got it for me because they know I like making French toast. So that's what I've got is this griddle pan. We're gonna put on the stove top and let's get cooking these French toast. All right guys, so we got the French toast on our pan. We just dumped it in the egg whites and then slapped them on the pan and then poured the extra egg whites over. We've got our French toast on the pan sitting let it sit for about five minutes and then we'll flip it over when it's nice and golden brown let it sit for another five minutes and then we're going to top it with some fresh blueberries and some maple syrup now we're going to add our sugar-free maple syrup top it off and we'll be good to go all right guys, what's up? Just finished the French toast. Hope you guys um, try out that recipe and I hope you guys like it. Um, we're gonna move on to lunch and then we're gonna go and look at my progress pictures from this last Friday and see how I'm progressing throughout this cut. All right guys, let's get into our next meal. This could be a lunch, dinner, whatever, but it's gonna be a chicken stir fry kind of bowl, okay? General Sao style. So the first thing we're gonna do is, you're gonna wanna cook some chicken. So what I do is I meal prep. 
right? Makes it a lot easier instead of me trying to have to worry about cooking right now. I just meal prepped 150 grams of chicken. Okay, this has got some uh, salt, black pepper, some cayenne pepper, and I think that's about it on it. But yeah, so some seasoned 150 grams of raw chicken that's now cooked that I meal prepped, okay? So that's our first thing. So we got our chicken. For veggies, I like to do bamboo shoots and water chestnuts. So we're gonna do a full can of each of these for our stir fry, okay? And then I like to do cabbage, okay? So we're gonna chop up some cabbage and get that in there. The thing I like about the cabbage is it's super low calorie. So you cut off a bunch of this, high volume. So you're eating a giant bowl of stir fry because of all the cabbage and all these other veggies as well with the onion. And little, very little calories, tons of volume. So for like the, when you, you'll see how big this is, but for the size of meal, you think it has a lot more calories than it does. And that's thanks to the veggies and the low calorie sauce that we're gonna make. So this is our main ingredients. So let's get chopping the cabbage and the onion. Let's get the water chestnuts and bamboo shoots ready and then we'll move on to the sauce. So weighing your food is especially important while you're dieting because if you're not weighing your food or at least like measuring it out, you're just going to be guessing on how many calories you have. And most of the time we're going to be under calculating our macros and our calories and we're probably overeating even though we don't think we are. So weighing it out or measuring out your food is a great tool to make sure that you're not overdoing it without even knowing it. So we've got our cabbage in here, and we've got just under 170 grams of cabbage. So 167 grams of cabbage right here. So now let's chop up the onion. some of you guys might but if you want to dice it up whatever however you want to cut it if you don't want onion leave it out you know it's your you make the rules so let's weigh our onion here so we got 50 grams of onion right there not a whole lot of onion actually but enough to get some nice flavor in there so now we've got our cabbage our onions and then we've got our cans of water chestnuts and bamboo shoots so that's our veggies we're gonna start sauteing the onions, then we'll add our other veggies, and we'll start cooking the cabbage. But before we do that, let's make our sauce. All right guys, to get the sauce going, we're going to be using rice vinegar. I have low sodium soy sauce, some stevia sweetener, hoisin sauce, which is one of my favorite Asian style kind of sauces and then also cornstarch. So to start, I've already pre-measured this, so I have three tablespoons of soy sauce that we're gonna add, as well as three tablespoons of that rice wine, rice wine vinegar, um, a quarter cup of water, and then we're going to add one serving of our stevia, so a half teaspoon, half a teaspoon of our sweetener. Feel free to use whatever sweetener you want and feel free to add more or not to add it at all, I guess, if you don't want to. Or you can use real sugar if you want. Obviously, that's gonna have more calories. 
but if you don't like artificial sweeteners, go for it. Now, we're going to measure out slash weigh out the hoisin sauce. So one serving is 42 grams of this hoisin sauce. So what I like to do is I use half a serving or 21 grams. So right there, that's just uh, 21 grams. So actually, yep, 21. So 21 grams of that, that leaves me 21 grams left over because I um, will drizzle it over the top. Okay, so half a serving of hoisin sauce in the bowl and then cornstarch one serving, which is 10 grams or one tablespoon. So, oh, making a mess here. So we're gonna clear our scale and we're gonna add 10 grams of cornstarch. What this cornstarch will do is it will help us um, thicken up the sauce and make it kind of stick to everything. There we go, 10 grams. So that's all the ingredients in the sauce, okay? So we can set that aside. We'll whisk that up and add it to our pan here in a minute, but let's get those veggies cooking. All right, guys, we got our pan preheating. We're gonna add our spray again, just a little bit. And pan feels pretty hot, so let's get our onions in there. So we're just gonna let these saute for a little while. I'm gonna add salt and a little bit of black pepper. And while these are starting to cook, we are gonna open up our water chestnuts and bamboo shoots. All right, so let's get our bamboo shoots and water chestnuts open. both our cans open, make sure you keep the lids because you're going to want to drain these off because most of the time they're in quite a bit of water. So we got our water chestnuts drained, put that in the pan, now you can toss the can. Same thing with the bamboo shoots. Drain them, add them to the pan, okay? Try not to drop it on your feet. So you guys should be able to already kind of tell that there's quite a bit of veggie slash volume already in here and we hardly have any calories right now. So that's on medium heat. We're just going to let that sit for a while, let those onions start to cook. We are going to add a bit more salt. I don't know, I like salt. This could be a little excessive maybe for some people, but that's how we do it. Okay, so let's let that sit for a little while. We'll come back, check on it, and then we'll add our other veggies. All right, guys, this is looking really good. Onions starting to get cooked. Um, kind of a tip for onions is when they start getting uh, translucent slash see-through, they're basically cooked. So let's add the cabbage now, okay? Toss this cabbage in there. Now that's a lot of veggies right there. Okay, so let's get this going. I'm gonna toss a lid on this, if I can find one. So I got a lid on, I kinda steam that cabbage up a little bit and get it cooked um, a little bit quicker, tastes better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the chicken, okay? Cause this is fully cooked, 150 grams of chicken. I'm gonna add that on, we're gonna stir it in and we're just gonna heat it up get it nice and warm. That's why we add it at the end. I don't want to overcook it and get it dried out. All right guys, it looks like it's about time to add the sauce. So with that cornstarch, it's gonna settle to the bottom a little bit. So make sure, you, make sure you stir it up and make sure there's no real clumps. Get that poison sauce and that cornstarch stirred in. 
and then we're just going to add it in. Now we got the sauce in here. We're just going to let it cook and we're just going to kind of stir it around until it starts to get thick. It's already starting to get thick and starting to uh, stick to the veggies. That's what you want. And then you can just turn the fire down a little bit. So just keep it moving a little bit. Don't want it to scorch on the bottom of the pan. And you just kind of want to mix it up. Stir all that sauce around and get it all sticking to all our veggies and all our chicken. So just stir it up. Make sure it's sticking to all the veggies and all the chicken. It's starting to look really good. And then it's just about ready to put it on our plate. All right, there you have it. We got our stir fry bowl. This is so good, it's probably one of my favorites. And like I said before, I drizzle a little bit of the hoisin sauce on top. And then, good to go. So you tell me how that looks. And then if you want, add more calories, you can do regular rice. Or another low calorie option would be a cauliflower rice or something like that to eat it with. And it's so good. So guys, try it out. Alright guys, we just finished that last meal, which was our general style stir fry stuff. And now we're going to get into our last meal, or our dinner. And it's going to be a lean ground beef protein pizza, okay? And it's real easy. Um, a little bit easier probably than the general style stir fry was. So let's get into that. To start, you're gonna want some kind of low calorie, high protein, like flat outs or kind of things. So I have this Joseph's lavish bread, okay? So one thing to note is, I don't know if you can see this, but it says 100 calories for 56 grams, okay? And that's supposed to be one of these. And each one of these is not 56 grams. One of these is usually at least 64, 65. So my um, advice to you is if you're being, if you're serious about cutting and you wanna be hitting um, your calories very specifically and very closely, you need to look at what these say. So, and then weigh it out. Cause some companies will have it right. And then ones like this, they're kind of lying to you. Cause it's like, oh, you can eat one of these and, or, and it's supposed to be 56 grams, but it's actually quite a bit more calories when you add it up. So just make sure when you're doing that, weigh out your wraps as well, so you're not eating way more calories than you think you are. And let's weigh these out here and see how much they actually are. Okay, so we got two flat outs. Supposed to be 56 grams for 100 calories for one of these. So that one right there is 63. And then let's weigh our other one. 67. So what's that? We have 130 grams. Yep, 130 grams of flat outs instead of what it said was going to be right around 112. So just be aware of that. Um, when you're using wraps and other things like that. If it does give you the specific weight, weigh it out because the label might be lying to you. So now that we've weighed out our flatbreads, we want to get them on this like baking sheet, cookie sheet kind of thing. And we're going to pop these in the oven. Um, I've had it preheating at 350. And we're going to put slide these in the oven for uh, probably 10 minutes until they start getting nice and brown and they're going to start and get crispy. Okay, now that we have our flatbreads in the oven getting crunchy, we are going to need some ground beef. And I also meal prepped this before, 
So, and I also label it just so I, it helps me remember what it is. Um, obviously I know it's ground beef, but like the amount. So this is a hundred grams of raw ground beef that's now cooked and it's 93.7. So 93% lean. Um, also with, uh, we're going to need the, so we need the ground beef as well as the ground beef. We're going to do, I have this fat free shredded mozzarella. Um, if you want to, you can use regular mozzarella, but you're not going to be able to use as much or you can, or it's going to be a lot more calories. So I like this, uh, low fat or fat free mozz, and it's actually pretty good. Also, we're going to add some veggies for me. I like to do red peppers, um, and onion. That's what I do. Not too many veggies for me. I don't like mushrooms and stuff like that. So I stick to the basics kind of and do the onion and the red pepper. And then the last thing, cause it's going to be a pizza is we need some pizza sauce. So this is just great value Walmart brand pizza sauce. And I do one serving and it's 25 calories. So that's pretty good for me pretty low calorie pizza sauce. So first off, let's get to chopping our veggies and then hopefully by then our flat outs will be ready. So let's do it. We're gonna wait for our flat outs to be getting crispy and we're gonna saute our veggies and uh, get them nice and cooked up. All right guys, we got our pan heating up for the veggies. Once again, just a little bit of spray and let's add our onions. I like to add the onions first cause they take a little bit longer to cook. Um, and I like to keep my peppers nice and crunchy and really tasting nice and fresh. So we got our onions in here. We're gonna let those saute a bit. Like I did before, we're gonna add salt to the onions, some black pepper. Let me get the other stuff. I'm also going to add just crushed red pepper, add a little bit of spice. And then the Italian seasoning, it kind of adds like a, it gives it more of a pizza, pizza vibe. So we're gonna add those in there and get these onions. Jeez, did you guys see that? Get these onions sauteed. Shoot. <clears throat> we might have overcooked our flat outs a little bit too much. So heed my warning and make sure you check on these. That was a bad situation. So now that our uh, onions are basically cooked and our flatbreads are burnt to a crisp, let's add our peppers. At the same time that I add the peppers, I'm going to add the meat. and a little bit of water. All right guys, so we've got our flatbreads out, even though they're a little dark. And I've got pre-measured 63 grams of pizza sauce. We're just gonna add that to the flat outs. There you have it with the sauce. Now let's add our meat and veggies. All right, so we got our meat and veggies. And let's add it to our pizzas. I just add that. 
and then add a, another half here. Kind of spread it out. And there's plenty of stuff on these two pizzas. Like, that's a good meal, I think, right there. Two full pizzas. So we've got our meat. So once we have our meat and stuff on our uh, pizzas, we're gonna add our cheese. So I've measured out 30 grams of this low-fat mozzarella, and we're just gonna sprinkle that on over our pizzas. Same thing on this one. Just pour it on there. Okay. And now we got two pizzas ready to go. And if only I hadn't burnt them, they'd look awesome. All right guys, we've just finished our pizza. It looks awesome. Super excited to have it. I hope you guys like both the, or all three, the French toast, this um, pizza, and our stir fry that we made. And I hope you guys try it. I'm gonna eat this, and then we'll go over my progress pictures. All right guys, to start the comparison, we just have me turning unflexed to see all the angles. I'm weighing 218 pounds here um, on Friday, January the 8th, my second check-in. And then we're gonna go into this double bicep. Um, looking pretty good. Lots of fat on the stomach still. Biceps look pretty good though, in my opinion. And then let's do the double comparison here. On the left you see last week's weigh-in compared to this week's. Um, not much of a difference yet. Really only dropped maybe a pound if really anything yet and looking to keep going on next week at about 1900 per day right now see what that does and i'll keep you guys updated all right if you guys made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching um this was a long one with lots of information that i wanted to pack into it so thank you for watching i hope you liked it if you did hit that like button think about subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this and to continue um following along with my shredded series and i hope you guys uh have a good week i'll see you in the next video peace